What's up, party people? This is Jude Snowboarder here from Facebook, Jude's Junk, Facebook comic book shop, and YouTube channel. And I think I'm going to try to start this uh, regular, whatever you call it, podcast that looks at potential signature series signings, upcoming, and values, and maybe little-known books that that artist did based on uh, various key collectors, or maybe it was the first time they did a uh, artwork on a book. I love signature series books, and I love the the top ten list by Comic Toms, and maybe I watch Swaggle House, and I watch Comic Book Investments, and and they're all great, and they're all helpful, and they're all different, but they all focus on blue labels. And what's interesting is when we come to signature series, it's not just a constant that they're all going to go up in value at, at the same percentage or rate if you get them signed by a cover artist or a writer. And so I've done a lot of signature series books in the last two years. I think I sent 53 off to Todd McFarlane. Um, I don't know. I sent 10 off to Frank Miller and um, just a bunch. Just getting ready to send more to Lee. I've sent some lead in the past. But anyways, I, I do a lot of research when I am looking to invest in books to send a signature series. Now, I'm a comic book collector probably before I'm a dealer. So some of these are just cool. And I'm old school from the 80s. I've been collecting since 1980. And back then, an artist's first work was really important or key. That's not necessarily the case anymore. Uh, back then, the first appearance was important. Now the first cover might be more important. So I have a lot of old school mentality. I want to get the first Marvel. I want to get the first comic book that Todd ever did. 9-8 signed by him. I want to get the first Marvel, the first DC that he ever did. And a lot of times, Key Collector doesn't track that information. Um, some of these older books I'm going to talk about with Howard Shaikin. <laughs> Howard Shaikin. Uh, I'm gonna. That's gonna be my first episode. Is I'm gonna do some research on books that Howard did. I'm gonna combine uh, key collector apps. I'm gonna combine GPA, um, and then some sales sites like uh, eBay or my comic shop where some of these books might be available. Now a lot of these uh, that are older for someone like an Howard Shaikin, and why I like these older artists is uh, they're not gonna be around forever. And they will go up in value. So if you want a long-term haul, a long-term investment um, with some just neat, unique books, a lot of these stuff from the 70s that are just unknown books, there might be 098 signed out there, 096s. I have some where the highest signed is a 7.5. And you might say, well, nobody wants that book. Well, I kind of think it's cool, so I want it. I want the very first um, book that uh, a popular artist did signed and nobody knows about it it's not a key but that person did it and unless someone does the research nobody knows necessarily what that might be until it gets popular and then it gets spread around so anyways this is my attempt i think i'm going to call it um signature series investments until i come up with a better name signature series investments i'll probably try to take a look at about five books this first one i went overboard I did about 10 just to, to, to get an idea of what kind of research I wanted to do. But I look at a lot of different tools. I look at what's available on the census, the CGC census. So sometimes there could be a lot of books that are signed. Sometimes there's zero signed. And so I just think that's cool. You know, we're always looking for something unique. So I think other people might think the way I do, but maybe not. Um, if I want a, um, a first book that Howard Shaikin did, sign 9.8 and there's only one in the world that I have that is cool now how much of a premium I can charge is a whole nother deal um, and if you market it you got to make sure people know that it's the very first time that artist worked on a cover or maybe not in a down market like it is now but anyways this is my introduction to these um, signature series investments they're not going to be weekly or monthly as soon as I get the email from CGC that a new signer is coming out I will try to put together one of these videos. This email came out yesterday, so um, I've been flirting around with this idea and wanted to put it out. So happy hunting, guys. Tell me if you like it. Tell me what's missing, what you wish was in here. It's actually somewhat tedious getting all this information because there's not one place to go to get everything you might need. So anyways, I hope you enjoy the first episode of Howard Shaikin. <laughs> 
Anyways, happy hunting, guys.